Well, finally, it's something that I already know. Oh, well, if you say so, uh, you can now speak with your mom. That's this man. Hello, my son. Son, how are you doing over there? No, and I like the fabric. No, it's nice. I know it's also very expensive. But I want something different. Money is not the problem. I want something that I will wear that will make me stand out in the crowd. I know it's expensive. I'll give you the money. Yes. Something unique, elegant, different. I, one more thing. Make sure you don't give that material to any other person. Not even your friends. So when I come out, I'll be the only one in that material. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Get me. Get back to me today. All right. Okay, bye for now. Unkolika! Unkolika! Where is the juice? What is wrong with this girl? I have this feeling that Desmond is having an affair with a white woman. Excuse me, my king. But he just told you some minutes ago that he cannot do anything to defy the custom and tradition of this land. I'm aware he said it in like that, but... But what? Are you trying to tell me that you no longer trust our son, Prince Desmond? That's not what I'm saying. So what exactly are you saying? His nonchalant attitude towards returning home is giving me a cause for worry. Maybe uh, I might change my mind towards him and the throne. What? Uh, wait. What did I hear you say? My king. Woman, I am confused. This month is the heir apparent to the throne. He should come home and take the bulls by the horn. Do the needful. So what exactly do you mean by that? Well... <coughs> My love, life without you is totally meaningless. I say I thank Chukoki Kaviyama for making our paths cross. You know, your words and your actions don't really tally. Sometimes I find it hard to believe that you truly love me like you claim. Why do you say so? Because you don't want to do the right thing. Then, what do you mean exactly by the right thing? The marriage list of our people is not on the high side. That's why even commoners get married every now and then. So what is stopping you from officially asking for my hand in marriage? Oh. <laughs> is that okay? Now I know where you're coming from. And I have to go straight to the point. You see, I cannot get married before my older brother, Prince Desmond. As a matter of fact, I have to wait for him to get married first before I do the necessary thing. So, you mean we should wait for eternity? Says who? Because the priest Desmond I know is not ready to get married anytime soon. I think you're getting something. Hold on, let me take this call. Yeah. Hello. What? All right, I, I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. What's wrong? I have to be on my way now, okay? Are you sure everything is okay? Yeah, sure. Everything's okay. I have to be on my way. Just hope everything 
Majesties, what happened to the king? Uh, she will be in a better position to answer that. Because she was the one with my husband before the, uh, when this thing happened. Let her tell us exactly what happened to my husband. Franka, how dare you? Have you gone crazy? Uh, I'm asking you. How dare you accuse me of having a hand in what happened to my husband, the king? Because you were there with him when this thing happened. I left him in good condition. It's you that know what you did to him that made him become a vegetable like this. So tell the doctor, Ludokwa, what happened. Else I'll call the council of elders on your head. Better tell him now. Now that there's still time. We're only three here, private. Oh. Your Majesties, please. Both of you should come down and tell me what I need to know. Then I'm here to tell you what happened. Tell him what happened. Uh -huh. We are having a normal conversation. Okay. Suddenly he's locked. Hi! He just did. It's a lie. You are a lie. You're a thief. You're a witch. How can you tell somebody, even if it's a deaf man, that you are having a conversation and he now became a vegetable? How? This is how you want to lie about this whole thing, Okoya. You want to... Better talk now. Better talk now. Say the truth. Kukwake Wezioku, else I will call the council of elders that they will summon you and tell us what you did to my husband to turn him to a vegetable like this. Say the truth now. I know why I'm saying this. I will call the elders on your head. Kukwake Wezioku, you will not be lying like this. Your Majesties, please, both of you should leave now. I need to attend to the king. Both of you should leave me alone. I need to go here. Sorry, I am not going anywhere. What? Eh? I'm the first wife of the king. God still demands that I stay by my husband anytime, any day, at every point. I tell her to leave. Amusu, witchcraft. <sighs> me, as Ida Boya, you have failed. You're a witch. Now I curse you. You want me to leave so that you kill my husband since you didn't succeed in killing him then. You want to eat people here finally now. It will not work. I am not going anywhere. That's why you did is because I was naive. Now I am going to be here, open eye, watching you. You can't get our husband. You're a witch. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please. You need to leave so I can attend to the king. Or oh, you want the king to die? A doctor. God see. Do you want the king to die? I respect God see, doctor. We are here. Be checking him. We are wives. First second. Would you? If I tell you that I am not afraid of the happenings in this palace, then I will be the biggest liar on this earth. What are you driving at? Are you not bothered that the king slumped while drinking with his first wife, Queen Dorati? Are you not? I'm worried. Oh, Uncle, do you think that Queen Dorati? Is capable of harming her husband. No, I, I, I didn't really say that. But I cannot also rule out the possibility of she knowing exactly what happened to the king. I can't rule it out. <sighs> Do you, in your own opinion, think that she's capable of such? No, no, no. I, I, I don't really think so. Hmm. But when Franca strongly believes that Queen Dorothy knows something about what happened to the king, she even says that she's going to report her to the entire elders in council and to the people of this kingdom if she does not explain to her what exactly happened to the king. It is very bad. In fact, I consider it an abomination that ordinary mates like you will be here in the palace gossiping and your topic of gossip is the royal family that employed you to work for them. Come to think of it, Nkoli, how could you, in this your small head, think that Queen Dorothy is capable of conceiving such an evil, let alone carrying it out? How could you? Oh, Minka, I don't know what you're talking about. Deny it. Deny it one more time that you did not open this your stupid mouth to say that Queen Dorothy knows something about what happened to the king today and I will report you to her. I will personally report you to her. Uh, uh, please, please, we are very sorry. Forgive us, please, forgive us. We, we will not do it again. Omenka, please, please forgive us. Do not report me to the king. I should not report you to the queen, right? Yes. I should forgive you people, right? Yes, yes sir. Interesting. 
Listen, I am going to do anything you want me to do. Whatever it is, I will do it. How dare you? How dare you open that your stupid smelling gutter that you call mouth to say you will bribe Omenka? Do you know what you are saying? Listen to me. Omenka Hunanya, one of this great kingdom, is a noble man that can never be bribed. You cannot bribe me. You cannot bribe me. Please. Forgive her, please. She's sorry. Yes, I please, am deeply we are very sorry. sorry. Please. I am deeply sorry, please. Mm -hmm. Both of you should be very careful of what you say or do in this palace. Henceforth. Yes, yes, because any nonsense, you will get it hot. Yes, Omenka will deal with both of you. Sorry, sir. Idiots. Sorry, sir. Look at them. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Rubbish girls. Honestly, this young man is really a pain in the ass. Who even invited him here? Did you invite him? You are still talking. Nkoli, he has left. Sure. Please get out. Where are you going? Eh? You better come back or let's finish this. After all, you are the one that brought this topic. But Papa, let's finish it all. I think what we need to do now is to run around and see what we can gather. Huh? You do not understand. Running around, you say? How many people raised 300,000 and just running around. What are you not saying? I understand it perfectly well. I don't understand. I, I, I do. I have eight hours to raise 300,000 else Mama would not be discharged. I understand perfectly well. But, but you don't expect this to happen without putting more effort. It's like waiting the ship at the airport. Did you say airport? What have I not done? A minimal job meant for men. I have done it. Almost raped Stanley. I have knelt under the sun to beg my uncle, my, my, my father's brother, who took everything that belongs to my brother just because I do not, I do not have a brother. I thought you understood. It's okay. It's okay. See, I, I don't mean to hurt you, right? I'm just, you know, uh, Amanda, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hurt you, right? I'm just but trying I'm, to. I'm, I'm sorry too, just I'm tired. I need to go. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> it's it's good to be back home. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> you know, I was. Uh, it took me on a while when um, she called me. Yes. Not even a day or two notice. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, I wanted to surprise everyone. Uh, you know. Dad and I spoke earlier today. Mm. He didn't even know I was in Lagos at the time I was talking to him <laughs> because I had robbed my number. You know, so we talked and we just got off the phone and yeah. then, you know, he didn't even know. So I, his jaw is going to drop when he sees me. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, he will be surprised at the same time happy. Yes, you know, he he will be happy. Uh, I'm positive he will be happy. He will, sure. Oh boy, we missed you, bro. I have missed everyone. Oh, we see you. I have missed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I did everything. Yeah. Good, good, good. I ask you again. What exactly is going on between you and Prince Ujena? Father, he is my boyfriend. You're not ashamed of yourself. You sit down here before me, your father, to tell me he is your boyfriend. Your mates, how they married, comfortably living with their husbands. Um, um, father, what do you want me to do? Force him to marry me? If he's not ready to marry you, then leave him and look for someone else who is ready to marry you. There are so many young men out there who are ready to get married and settle down. Nonsense. Rubbish. Look at you. Oh. Uh, no. Hello, no. Huh? The king? What happened to the king? 
please. I will join you in a few minutes' time, please. I will join you, I will join you, please. Um, uh, Father, what's wrong? What happened to the king? Go and fix some bath water for me. Father, I need to be at the palace immediately. Go! Please. Father, you have not answered me. Is anything wrong with the king? Stop asking me questions. Go and do what I ask you to do. Uh, so what exactly is the problem, Doctor? My Prince, his BP was very high. Yes, it would have been very dangerous if not handled. But thank God for timely intervention. Okay, but what's his current state? He's fine, my Prince. Doctor, are you sure? There is absolutely nothing to worry about. He's fine. The exact statement a particular doctor made to my friend. But well, my friend never went on with his mother life. Oh, no. The gods of our land will not allow anything wrong to happen to our king. Chiku Kika Biyama will continue to keep him safe for us. Besides, um, Dr. Phyllis here has been trying his best to make sure that our king is fine. I've been standing here with him for over two hours. I can attest to the fact that uh, he knows what he's doing. So, um, let's be calm, brothers. Let's be calm. So, on that note, Dr. I would say thank you for showing up on time to prevent whatever it is that would have taken us on our ways. My prince, you don't need to thank me. I'm only doing my job. Besides, the king and the royal house, I'm here to serve them. So. Thank you too, but regardless, it's always nice to appreciate a professional when they do their job unreservedly well. I appreciate you. Right. Thank you very much. You're always welcome. And. I'm always at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Yes, Let's yeah. allow that to rest. Oh. Necessary. Oh. Necessary. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. look happy. What is the problem? Mom. Yes. You are the problem. Mwa. How? Uchenna. What did I do? Mom, I heard what happened in the palace today. How could you accuse the queen of being responsible for what happened to dad? Can't you see? Isn't it obvious to you that this woman is on a dangerous mission? What dangerous mission are you talking about, Mom? How could she possibly kill her own husband? Uchina, come on, shut up! Are you stupid? Oh, I can see. She has bewitched my son. Mom, she has not done anything wrong, but you are the architect of the trouble in this palace. Come on, shut up! What's this up? And stop talking to me like that. Ila Paula. Me, architect. How? Mom, please, I want to beg you, please. Allow everyone of us to have peace in this palace, please. Just shut up and leave my room. Nothing but a child. What do you know? What do you know, Chenna? I just spoke my mind. Hey, carry your mind and leave my room. I will leave. I leave. Leave. I didn't do any bad thing. Give it back. I left your job, Morgan. Leave my room. What nonsense.
Um, Dad, it is good to to see you very much alive today. You know, we walked in here yesterday, yeah. and then you were lying there almost lifeless. You know, but we are thankful to Chukwuke Kabiaba for for giving you to us once again. Yes, my son. <laughs> it's not yet my time. <laughs> and besides, my ancestors will not allow me to cross to the other side, especially when I have lots of works to be tidied up. <laughs> it's not your Father, time. Father, nothing will happen to you. Nothing. You see, um, you will live to see your grandchildren. You say. And if possible, your great grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my son, how come you didn't inform me you are coming to Nigeria when I spoke with you yesterday? <laughs> About that. Don't mind me. You know, I like to be mischievous sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the plan really was to take everyone on our ways. As at the time we spoke, Father, I was already at the Lagos airport waiting for my flight down east. But I didn't tell you. Don't mind me. <laughs> I wanted to surprise everyone. Uh, Father, I was surprised when he even called me with a private number and mm -hmm. asked me to come to the airport to pick him up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I'm the happiest man on earth today. <laughs> I thank the gods for bringing you back in peace. <laughs> thank you. And one more thing, Dad. Um, the doctor told us to allow you get enough rest. Sure. Yeah. Uninterrupted rest, as a matter of fact. Uh, and then uh, we've been here for a couple of hours. Um, yeah. So I would suggest that we let you be. In fact, I I I am I am very very strong. In fact, I am stronger than, than I was yesterday when I spoke with you. <laughs> Father, what do you mean by that? Oh, uh, well, uh, that you boys are not living here until I say so. <laughs> Omenka! Omenka! Hey! What is this? Omenka! There is trouble. Serious trouble in this palace. Trouble? Yes, sir. Trouble in a palace where Omenka Honanya One is the chief security officer. How can there be trouble in this palace? You think I'm joking? You think I am joking? Are you serious? Ha! Omenka, the two queens want to kill themselves as I speak to you right now. What? Hmm. What, what actually happened? What, is it? Oh, yeah, what happened? Because of car. Hmm? Because of ordinary car. <sighs> Wait. Are you serious about what you're telling me right now? Ah. Which one is? Am I serious of what I am telling you? Do I look like I'm joking? Eh? Because you have not told me. You're just saying because of car. Ordinary car. Okay, let what me tell really you. What really happened? Let me tell you what happened. Queen Franca wants to go out with Queen Dorothy's car. Uh -huh. Mana Queen Dorothy are joking. That was all. Uh -huh, but that is it. Okay, Sunu. You need to see the fight. They said they fighting. Eh? Omenka, you need to follow me so you go and separate that fight. Else, someone is, will what die. What is wrong with this woman <laughs> called Queen Franca? What is wrong with this Queen Franca of a person? It's not about... That woman is very troubled. Hey! You better follow me so that you will go and separate this fight. I broke you in the she's very troublesome. Follow me to go and separate that fight. If not, someone will just die. Let's go. Someone will die. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! Chimo! How is Mama faring this morning? She needs surgery. I know. I know she needs surgery. But I'm just asking how she's faring outside the surgery box. She's as strong-hearted as my father. You know, when my father went crippled as a result of falling off from the tree, <laughs> I was heartbroken. But he will always tell me, Chimamanda, if you don't go strong, I will pursue you with my two legs. He remains strong until death. <laughs> exactly what I'm telling you. You need to be strong for Mama and for me. In fact, you need to be strong for everybody. Hmm? I'm really scared. 
Scared of what? Not raise the money yet or what? Not really. So what? I just want to ask you. Being strong, does, does it really count? Yes, it counts. Hmm? You just need to be strong. Hmm? You need to be strong. Hmm? It's okay. It's going to be alright. Hey! What can Wahala be this for? Eh? What kind of trouble is this? Hmm. Why can't these women allow us to have peace of mind in this palace? Why? Nkali. You are making a very big mistake here. How? And how do you mean she's making a mistake? Because we all know that the constant fight and quarrels in this palace is caused by Queen Franca. Yes. So generalizing everything simply means that you are being unfair to the Queen Mother. Hmm. I think you have a point. Mm -hmm. What is even wrong with that woman? Eh? Let me ask you. Is it that she can't stay without causing a problem in this palace? And who are you asking that stupid question? You better package your question direct to her because I know she will be in best position to answer your stupid question. My own is that she is doing too much. Yes. Eh? I just wish that Queen Dorothy would go out of character one day and give her a taste of her own medicine. Mm -hmm. Just small like this. Well, you know the Queen. Mm? She's not a violent person. I don't think she can do that. <laughs> eh? Not when it has become clear to her that the only way, the only way to solve this particular problem is to take it by force. By understand? using violence. Or call your do, you, do, do you get? I'm waiting for the day of reckoning. Hmm. The day that Queen Dorothy will go out of character and give that woman bass boss. For yeah. every bass, let there be a boss. I just yes. pray, let it be the day I will not come to work. Let it be my off day. Why? Oh my. Because I don't want to clean blood. Hey, me, I want to be life there. Life and direct to witness everything with my eyes. Uh, no problem. When you witness, if I come, you tell me. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I am totally disappointed at both of you. Huh? What's the meaning of this? Why do you people want to kill me before my time? What have I done? Oh. Tell me. What have I done? Uh, my king. May Chuku Kikabiyama forbid that I wish you dead. You will not die. You will live to see your next generation. But I can't see that happening. Oh, yes. Um, my lord, why are you sounding this way? Will you shut your mouth? Why are you causing trouble here? Why? Why are you shouting at me? Why are you, why are you always hushing me down each time I say something? But she said her own hair, gave me she, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not asking you, okay, Mirene. Now you're shouting. Get in a bra mumba. She did do. She did not leave again. Don't shout at me like this. Oh, my head, go. Don't shout at me like this. Okay, Mary. Each time I talk, you shout. I'm not your problem, oh. Don't shout at me like this. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, now, listen. Let this be the first and the last time I will have this type of gathering here. Huh? Better, better, better. Ah, ah. Shada, you tell us on time. Oh no. Are you sure of what you just told me? Ah. Oh no. I mean, will you be able to say this before Igwe and other members of the council? Ah. Oh no. As a member of the West Cabinet, I cannot tell you what I'm not sure of because I know the implications. So I'm very sure of what I'm telling you. And what I just told you, I'm ready to say it anytime or anywhere I'm called upon. This is serious. Hmm. How could he do such a thing? Oh no, that man doesn't like the progress of any other person. If not, what will warrant him to bury a child in the building site of his brother's son? What? This is pure wickedness. Wickedness. And we will not allow this to continue to happen in this condom. Not at all, no. We cannot allow it to. We cannot because if we let him go this time around, he will do it to another person. So we can't allow it. We can't. Hey. <laughs> um, 
吗？Forgive her. Oh, well, son, you need not apologize to me. And besides, I didn't ask you to come with me because of this. I want us to talk. Oh, okay. I hope there is no problem, father. Well, Did of... I do something wrong? Oh, yes. Uh, many wrongs. Okay. What? What um, could be the problem, Dad? Desmond. Yes, Dad. You will be 40 this year. You have not brought any woman home as a wife. Rumors have it that you are gay. Are you gay? Gay. May the gods of our land forbid that I am gay. I'm not gay, Father. Why are you still single then? Do the needful. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Look, Father, I'm, 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 I'm sorry that I have not been able to come home with a bride. Mm -hmm. Will you stop all these sorry, sorry, sorry excuses and then answer my question? When are you getting married? So, Father, you, you're trying to tell me that the prince came back without informing me. But is he supposed to inform you of his return? Father, what kind of a question is this? Of course, he should inform me about his return. I mean, how can my man come back without telling me? Your man, you said? Yes, my man. I think I am surprised to hear this. But if truly the prince is your man, as he said, he's supposed to tell you that he is back into the kingdom. Of course. <sighs> Maybe he forgot. Um, yeah, that that's possible. I think that must have been an oversight. Stella, could you please say something else other than this story of the prince and yourself? Oh, so father, you, you don't think this is worth discussing? I mean, this is not a, a subject to be discussed. Stella, I want to hear about your progress over time in the city. I am talking about my man coming back without telling me and then you want to hear something else. Stella. Tell okay. me how you've been progressing in the city. Fine. What is your progress so far? Is that also, also important? Father, that's about six questions in one. So where do I start? You don't know how to start. <laughs> okay, which do you want me to answer first? Your progress. <laughs> My prince, you sent for me. Yes, I did. 
Has the queen returned the gate keys to you? Yes, my prince. As a matter of fact, I have them right in my pocket. Should I no. give them to you? No, give it. Omenka. My prince. I don't want you to leave the gate today. I don't want to see any visitor. Are you trying to say you don't want to see anyone at all? Including those who we are supposed to meet with you today. Omenka. My prince. I believe you understand simple English language. Stop asking me stupid questions. Uh, uh, my prince, Omenka cannot ask stupid questions, my prince. I only want to be cleared on something that seems a bit confusing to me. Omenka! Just so we'll be on the same page, my prince. Go back to your duty post. Thank you, my prince. As it pleases you. to present yourself to me at this very point as a stupid person. So then why, why are you making me repeat myself over and over again? Listen, listen. Prince Uchenna gave a very serious instruction that he does not want to see anybody today. And that includes you, Sonia. Did they gather that first gate not mentioned to you that you are not supposed to enter the palace today why 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 are you trying so hard to provoke me omenka why listen to me listen to me you cannot enter this palace today stop calling me prince uchenna is not in a good mood today and he does not want to see anyone so I will advise you to return to your place and stop calling my line. Do not make me lose the little regard I have for you. Nonsense. What kind of rubbish is this? Eh? Must these girls present themselves to be too cheap to these people? Must they tell the whole world that they are so cheap? Rubbish. Go back to your house and stay there. You will not listen. Your Majesty, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but it is funny. Very funny indeed that you, our king, will be asking us to change the date of our prestigious Oruku festival. Uh, Ishi, I not here. Mind when you start to insult me. I am the king. So I want us to choose our words properly. Please, let us be guided. Uh, Your Majesty, with due respect, I don't think uh, Ishi Anozie is trying to insult you in any way. But the truth be told, I am very shocked that a mother hen that is supposed to be protecting her eggs will be the one breaking them. You are our king, asking us men in council to change the date of our sacred Oruku festival. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Uh, I know that the date of Oruku festival has remained the same since the days of our forefathers. But what I'm telling you is that it cannot be celebrated this time without my son, Prince Desmond. But, but your majesty, Prince Desmond is in this kingdom already. Uh -huh. I know. His 40th birthday is around the corner. And also, it will come before the festival. I know all this. I'm aware. And your majesty, that will make this year's festival very unique and special. So, why are you asking us to change the date? I know all this. But I'm telling you that that 
which will make it unique and special might not happen. Here. Yeah. How? I don't understand, Your Majesty. Yeah. I don't understand. Your Majesty, I am sorry to say that um, in a meeting of this magnitude, I had wanted to remain mute to the end of the meeting. But your utterance is so promptuous. It is apparent that the deliberations we've been doing here for the success uh, towards our Oruruku festival means nothing to you, or so it seems. Uh, could you please tell us why you made such strong statement? Oh no, I am not so comfortable with you with all this your long grammar. Can we just concentrate on the reason we are here, which is change of the date for the festival? Ah! The gods forbid that I, or no, of this great kingdom, be a party to changing the date of our sacred festival. Your Majesty, the date of Oruruku festival cannot be changed. Yeah. That, is, that cannot be changed. Man, uh, cannot be changed. My prince. I can't believe you returned to this country without telling me about it. Mm. I'm surprised. I'm sorry about that one. Um, truth is, I wanted to surprise everyone, you know? I, I, I don't like surprises. <laughs> I have just said that I am sorry. Does that not mean anything to you? Well, it does. It does mean something. Anyways, I, I forgive you, but do not repeat it. Okay. <sighs> All right, that's, that's by the way. So how are you? Look at you. You look really well. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> but I hope you're not involved with one of those white women over there. <laughs> <laughs> what if I am? Greetings, my friend. Vera, <laughs> how are you? Oh, I'm fine, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. You have not even changed. <clears throat> well, I'm happy to hear that from you. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my God. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> you know, I almost forgot that you're still here. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I just got carried away. Um, <clears throat> um, it's it's okay. It's it's fine. I I guess I'll just have to be on my way now. Yeah. <clears throat> Why so soon now? Uh, actually, I I was headed somewhere. You know, I just you know decided to just pass by and say hello to you. I'll see you some other time. Besides, you you have you have you have a, a guest that. Needs more attention, so it's. I'll just leave you two to. Um, <coughs> yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I don't think she's alright. She looks so angry. Why would she be? I want to know. You tell me. <laughs> How you are tell you me doing? why you look so good. Oh, trust me. As usual, I look good. Wow, my prince, you look so handsome. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Chief, we brought these drinks for you. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, if I may ask, what are the drinks for? Chief, our people usually say, give honor to whom honor is due. That is why we brought these drinks to inform you that we saw a very beautiful flower in your house. And we are interested in making that flower ours. Um, <clears throat> well, well, thank you. I've heard what you said. But um, which one of you wants to plug this said flower? Chief, my friend here, Kedechi. Kelechi, my son. Are you from this kingdom? No, chief. I'm from Inyato kingdom. And my father is the owner of our kingdom. Oh. Okay. 
Well, I've had uh, what you said, and um, thank you for the drinks. Well, I will make uh, the necessary consultations with my family, and then I will get back to you. What was that drama all about? Eh? What on earth did that low life come to do at the palace? I can't believe it. To think that Prince Desmond ignored me 150% to start showering praises on that fool! That good for nothing girl. <laughs> Let it not just be what I'm thinking of. <laughs> had better not because eh, eh the outcome will definitely not be good at all <laughs> in fact for all parties involved <laughs> uh, Sonia I called you here so we can deliberate on this issue before I take my decision go ahead father I'm listening good what do you have to say about that young man that came here today to seek your hand in marriage Father, I am confused. How do you mean you are confused? Okay. What I want to find out is, do you know the young man? And what are your intentions towards him? Will you marry him? I didn't say so. What? You just told me he is a good man from a reputable family. So. Why won't you marry? Um, Father, I need time to think about it before making any decision. I hope the time you need to think about this has nothing to do with Prince Uchenna. Prince Uchenna who has been deceiving you all this while. I really miss home. Oh, you can say that again. No place like home. And we are happy to have you back. Yes, Mama. Yeah. Yes, Mama. Let me sit. Let me sit here and get fresh air. Mama, is this why you stopped? No. Please, the breeze is too much here. You can't sit outside now. Let me take you inside. Please, let's go. I want to start rehearsing what the doctor told me. <laughs> oh, okay, Mama. Um, you just came back. Let's just go inside, relax a little, then I'll bring you outside later. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Go. Todd. How can you say something like that to them? Oh, well, I had no choice. What do you mean you had no choice, Father? Of course you have a choice on this matter. You of all people know how sacred the Oruku Festival is. You know that the date for the Oruku Festival cannot be changed. It is already set. Well, you can't push a man so hard and expect him not to fall. Uh, you see, when a man is faced with difficult situations, he can make some unthinkable decisions. And now you confuse me even more. Desmond, come out of your confused state and do the needful. 
that which will save you and the entire royal family. And what is this thing that I need to do? Get yourself a wife as soon as possible. What? Father, what has that got to do with you wanting to move the date for the Doruku festival, Dad? What are you talking about? This month, your 40th birthday comes before the Uruk festival. And I'm expected to present you as a crown prince to the people. You must then take on some rituals that will see you becoming that king in waiting. So this is on me now. Huh? My love, you don't look happy. What is the problem? You are my problem. Yes. Me. How? Mr. Chena, why are you doing this to me? Why? What have I done to you? Why are you treating me this way? You know, Sonia, the more I try to understand you, the more confused I become. What is it? This is five years. Five solid years that we have been in a relationship, yet you are not doing anything about it. Why are you doing this to me? Am I not good enough? Don't I have the qualities of being your wife? Come on, Sonia, stop. I thought we have discussed about this thing before. So why are you bringing it up again? Huh? Listen, Sonia. Hold me by my word. My word is my bond. I must marry you. Why are you not doing the needful? Why am I still in my father's house? Why are you allowing other men come ask for my hand in marriage? Did another person come asking for your hand in marriage? And what sort of stupid question is that? <laughs> Look, Prince, I don't know why you are doing this to me. I am not getting any younger. Neither am I getting any younger as well. Then do the right thing! I cannot. Listen, Sonia. I cannot get married before my older brother. Never. You know what? I think I have to take the available options. Because I am seriously tired of this your Sonia. drama. Sonia! Sonia! stupid question is that? No, it is not a stupid question. As a matter of fact, it is a very reasonable question. Now for the last time I ask you, what did you go to the palace to do? <laughs> and what would I tell you what I went to the palace to do? What business of yours is it? Do you know who you're talking to? Sarah, I don't care to know who you are because knowing who you are will not add or remove anything from my bank account, okay? Really? <laughs> Vera, I can see you have grown wings. <laughs> but the good news is, I am very good at clipping wings. Especially wings for people like you. I am going to help you clip those wings of yours. <laughs> you know what, you have the guts to say all those things to me because you don't know anything about me. Mm. But at the appropriate time, you will get to know. As a matter of fact, I'm not standing here to exchange words with you because you are too little. No, I'm not going to glorify you. <laughs> mm? Listen, mm. I taught you to warn you never to step those feet of yours into the palace again. And this is your last warning. <laughs> Don't dare and me. And this is the very last time you will stop me to say such useless topic. What nonsense! <laughs>
Which is Naya? What troubles you? You look, you look lost and worried. You. Me. Sure. How? Did I do something? This month. When are you getting married? I don't understand. What really is going on? To think that I just finished having that conversation with Dad. You're here with me now, talking about the same thing. Am I missing something? This month, I may not be able to tell the angle of your conversation with Dad. But I wouldn't want to lose my five years relationship because of you. From abroad, which day here wants to take a uh, Prince Uche and Nasuma from him? Obi, I don't believe you. You see, Sika? Uh, um, Nkoli, this is not a matter that of uh, uh, um, Sika. Eh? I overheard Prince Uche telling Prince Desmond a few minutes ago that he, Prince Uche might lose his five years relationship because of Prince Desmond. Obi, Obi, are you sure? Are you very, very sure? <sighs> May the gods punish me if I'm lying. <sighs> Hey, this is serious, sir. Over serious. But Prince Desmond looks very, very responsible. I don't think he can stoop so low to do such a thing. I don't think so. I quite agree with you, my friend. Though appearance might be so deceptive at times. Because the happenings in this palace eh, is so, so worrisome. It will not come. I was even shocked when I heard this myself. You know what? Just as I am very shocked to see a full-grown man like you will be engaged in a stupid and senseless gossip with these useless maidens. Maidens that Chukwu Kikabiyama has already punished even before he created them. Look at them. Ah, Omenta, what's your problem now? Why are you cursing and insulting us? Can you hear your problem? What's your problem? Did you just open that stupid and smelling gutter you call mouth to talk to me, Omenka? Oh, I can see you no longer have any atom of fear or respect left inside of you. Don't worry. I will teach all of you the full meaning of my name, Omenka Honanya One. I will teach you people. Don't worry. Uh, 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 Omenka, where are you going to? Let him go, John. Did you just ask me that stupid question? No, no, no. Did you just ask me where I'm going? Let me now tell you. I am going straight to meet the king to report all of you. Uh, uh, for Omega, please, we are very sorry. We will not do it again, please. Yes, we are truly sorry. Yes, we please. are. Please forgive us. Oh, you people are very sorry. Yes. I should not report you. Yes, yes. Good. If you people are very sorry, then all of you should file out here, lie down here, and face the sun. Mm -hmm. You said that? You don't want to do what I said you should do? You don't want to obey me? Fine, no problem. Oh yeah. Take your positions. Lie down! Lie down and face the sun with your eyes open. This will be your punishment for doing what you just did. Next time, you will learn how to respect royalty. Nonsense, people. You will remain here today till whenever I deem it fit to release your people. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? No. Did you just say anything? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth and stay there. I said shut your mouth. Are you mad? Are you mad? Just try me. Try me and you will see what will happen to you. Stay there. Yala. No sense, people.
Your Majesty, you sounded like someone whose house was on fire over the phone when you called. What exactly is the problem? Oh no. My house is not just on fire, but will soon engulf into a wildfire if nothing urgent is done to avert it. Your Majesty, you are still rattling in riddles. What exactly is the problem? Uh, I need you to get the elders on my side. Convince them to shift the date of Oroloku Festival. And I will compensate you handsomely for that. Your Majesty, in time you will amuse me with your words. How? I, I just want to know. Why do you really want me to do this for you? My son, Prince Desmond, his birthday will come before the Uruluku festival. And he, he, if that happens, he will be expected to perform certain rituals that will see him become the new king in the wedding. So? If that happens, really, he cannot perform that because he is yet unmarried. So what exactly do you want me to do for you? Oh no, it is simple. Just convince them to see reason with me and she... The God strike me dead if I do that. Your Majesty, Uruku Festival cannot be changed by matter. Don't give me vegetable again. Ma I didn't force it. Sorry, Mama. Spoiling me. I can actually feed myself. <laughs> I know you can actually feed yourself, Wonder Woman. Hmm? I know you can do it, but Mama need you to get used to it. Okay, because I'll continue to feed you till after the surgery. Get used to it. And... <coughs> Mama, what is it? <coughs> what? What is it? Are you okay? Are you okay? Stop looking at me as if I'm dying soon. I am not dying anytime soon. I will live to see my in-law. My this, you and this your in-law, just get well soon first, please. Talking about my in-law, how is Stanley? Stanley is fine. I know he's fine. That young man loves you and he cares for you. He can do anything. Spend the money on you. Literally, he has. <laughs> Mama, uh, when did you become a comedian to crack me up like this? Mm -hmm. Mama. What I said, is it funny? Yes. Mama, Stanley and I, we have nothing. We are just friends. Stanley is just something I share things with. All my, all, everything I do. Stanley is just someone I share it with. There's nothing between us. Mama, he has never, ever asked me out. He has never talked about anything like love. We are, we are just friends. Just no strings attached. Just, we're, just, we're just there. That young man loves you. When I see love, I know one. He cares for you, me. Ma, please, I, I have heard you. Just finish your food so I can go and get your second routine, please. Talking of my drug, how have you been coping? 
Stanley has been of great help. Stanley. Fine. No mistake. Please let me give you vegetables. If you need it, please. No. The gate. Who do you want to see? Uh -uh. Are, you are you serious? Oh, Meta, open the gate. What do you mean? You don't know me. Don't you know me? You don't know who I am? The question is very simple. Who are you looking for? Is this a joke or something? Are you joking? Omenka, oh, are you seriously asking me that? Are you alright? Don't you know me? Don't you know who I am? You don't know who I am? Please open this gate. Open the gate for me. A very simple question that I asked that you have not provided an answer. The question is, who do you want to see? Oh my God, what kind of a stupid question is that? No, no, why are you giving me this attitude? What is wrong? Did I do anything wrong? Why are you acting like this? I am only asking a very simple question. This is me, Omenka. A security personnel in the royal palace doing my job diligently. And I ask again, who do you want to see? Omenka, you are beginning to step on my last nerve. I do not like to get angry. Okay? Don't piss me off. Open this gate for me to go and see my man. Did you hear me? Open this gate for me to go and see the prince. Your man? Yes. Who is your man? <sighs> Omenka. Omenka. Open this gate for me to go and see Prince Desmond. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. I know very well that women are very desperate people. But never in my life did I think that a beautiful young lady like you, the daughter of Ono, a noble man of this great kingdom, will be part of those desperate women. Never you bring my father into this. Don't you ever try it. Eh? Do not bring my father into this, <laughs> Omeka. Omeka, you're daring me. Listen, listen, listen up. Truth they say is very bitter. But I, Omeka, Omenka Horanya, one of this great kingdom, will always say the truth, no matter how bitter it is. You are mad. Yes, you are running mad. Stupid boy. Open this damn gate. Let me go and see my, my, my man. You can go ahead and insult me the way you like. Like, go ahead, insult me as it pleases you. Oh but listen, let me tell you something. Hey. I am going back into the palace. Like, I am going into the palace to continue with my duty. I don't want you to disturb the peace of this royal palace with a stupid horn from this your car. If you try it again, your father will be the first person to hear of your disgraceful act here in the palace. Try it and you will see. Omenka. Omenka. Wait, oh. Wait, is it me or Mike I'm talking to like this? Oh, Mike, it's me you are disgracing. Do you know me? Oh, Mike! Do you know who I am? Sonia, Kilichi, my friend, is a very nice person. And he will make a very good husband to you. <laughs> Look, I know he's a nice person and also from a good family. So, why are you rejecting him? Victor, why are you trying to get words out of my mouth? I can't remember doing anything that shows rejection. Sonia, the silence. The silence. Don't you think it's time we should have gotten positive response from you people? Um, well, you might have a point. But the truth is, I am taking my time. I, I don't want to make any form of mistake. It's alright. I understand. 
father, Nora Clinton, is the only woman in my life right now. Who is this Nora Clinton? And where is she from? She's an American. Desmond, have I not warned you severally that you can't marry a white woman? You are the next king in waiting. You expected to marry from here or from a surrounding kingdom? I understand that, Father, but that is the problem right now. I, I don't have any other woman in my life apart from Nora. What of Stella and Vera? Oh, those two. They are just friends. I don't have a connection with any of them. You don't need to have a strong attachment to a woman before you get married to her. <laughs> Which explains why you have two wives, Dad. <laughs> I want to marry just one woman, Father. And for that reason, I am not going to marry a woman who I do not love or know too well. Oh, well, we, we Africans, we're entitled to marry as many women as possible. So don't say that crap to me. Oh, well, um, Desmond, do you want to lose your bed right? Or sit and watch the throne leave this family to another family? Oh, well, the choice is yours. Oh, no, son, you can't allow this to happen. Mom, I don't understand. What don't you understand? That you won't allow your relationship of five years go down the drain without doing anything? Is that what you don't understand? What do you want me to do? What do you mean by what do you want me to do? You want to let Sonia go simply because that good for nothing, useless girl for second boy refused to get married. Mom. If you try that, you have me to contend with. Why are they making it? Mom, please, please. Take it easy. Stop calling him names. Remember, he is the crown prince of this kingdom. Crown prince, my foot! Any young man that could not achieve anything in his life till he gets to 40 is a fool at 40. He's useless and worthless. Mother! Don't mother me! What is wrong with you? If you allow Sonia go simply because of this stupid thing you have about Daya the Desmond, I will personally deal with you. You want Yala? I will personally deal with you. Can't you have breath like, like, breath like your mother? Bah, coil. We are just, we are capable tell me, mother. Mother, at this point, I am confused. I don't know what to do. I understand how you feel, son. But the truth is this. You cannot lose your pet right no matter what happens. True, mother. For as it stands, tradition forbids me from marrying a white woman. But at the same time, mother, I cannot just speak in a random girl. I'll make her my wife. It is a very difficult situation. But you must do something about it. Something like what, Mother? Are you suggesting that I pick just anyone from this community and make her my wife? Just anyone? Not really, son. But you must loosen up a bit. You have to give some of our maidens in this community a chance. Maybe something positive might come out. How do you think that would work? I wouldn't know until you give it a try. Ah. <sighs> These are trying times for me, mother. You have to give it a try. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you see, Amanda, let me tell you something. If not that you always cook food and bring to me in that shop, <laughs> you see by now, I would have turned to brand ambassador to too many bread and sausage plus mineral. Would have been their brand you're ambassador. You're not serious. Uh -huh, now. You're not serious. Just, just hear yourself. But it's true now. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> listen, I think this your shop is taking too much of your time. You need to make a time to start cooking, you know. Not that you don't know how to cook. Of course you know how to cook. Oh, you know I know how to cook. Of course cook. you know how to cook. <laughs> See what we have. It's like I will go and get a pot and stove for that shop. <laughs> but you know what? You will still come and <laughs> do the cooking. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stanley, thank you. Thank you so much because Mama is sleeping like a baby. I mean, each time she takes her drugs, she just, mm, she just goes relaxed like a baby. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. We just have to give God all the thanks, right? At least we thank God for His providence. Hmm? I'm really worried for you. Worried for me? Huh. If you continue to pay this 9,100 naira, suddenly your shop might not survive it. Well, I'm not complaining. Stan, I know you're a man. I, you need to also save for your future. You have to save for your future. So, uh, Amanda, let me ask you, what are you trying to insinuate? That I should stop helping you to buy Mama's drugs or what? Mm, I'm just trying to, to find a way to solve this puzzle. I don't know, maybe I should go back to my, my menial job. And I will not approve of that. Besides, Mama needs you by her side. Huh? Hey, Amanda. Yes? Why not go meet the king and narrate your orders to him? The king? Yes. Why? What, what, what for? You know, he's a good man. He has unlistening ears. Maybe he will be of good help. That's what I'm suggesting. That's what I have in mind. Why use the butcher's knife to slaughter the chicken? When the chicken's neck grows as big as that of a cow, then the butcher's knife will come in. This is just a suggestion. Think over it. Hmm? Hmm? That's why you're doing your first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. Let's do, do, do. I think it's very important. So that. I think so. Oh no. So the king wants to destroy our culture just because of his own selfish ends. Selfish ends. Imagine. How can a king, I mean king leading a community, be working against the custom and tradition of his people? Something he is supposed to uphold. In fact, I'm disappointed at our king. Highly disappointed. Uh -uh. I made it very clear to him that the Oruruku festival state can never be changed for any reason in the world. Never! No. Listen, Udo, as far as I am concerned, the king has just two options. Two options. One, force the prince, Prince Desmond, to get married as soon as possible. Yes. And that is before the Oruruku festival. Or... Forget the throne. You are very right, Chief Amadi. Oh no. All of us must join hands in making sure the king does not succeed with his plans. That is the reason I called for this meeting. We must not allow the king to have his way, thereby bringing the wrath of the gods upon us. By trying to do what he wants to do, we must all stand and defend our tradition. Of course. Yes. That is it. All of us. Yes. Not everyone of us. Enough of this one seriousness. I'm saying my chief. Ha! We can't allow them. Do you really love my son, Jim? Yes, my queen. I love him with all my heart. I want to let him go just like that. Without fighting for what is rightfully yours. My queen, in as much as I love him with all my heart, I still have my dignity to protect as a woman. 
how will people see me if I start fighting over a man? They will only think I am desperate. But you have to fight for what is yours. It's not as if you're fighting with anyone because he doesn't have anyone else in his life. Fight that stupid mentality in him, that stupid idea that his senior brother has to marry before him. But what if he doesn't change his mind? What if Princess Mont fails to get married anytime soon? My queen, I am not getting any younger. Or try. Try and change that mentality. I know you can. Just try. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Has your son told you what I discussed with him concerning his marital status? Yes, my king. And what did you tell him? It's a very difficult situation for him. But I made him understand that he needs to do what he has to do to avoid losing his birthright, the throne, and then attract your rot. And what did he say? He's still confused. He doesn't want to make mistakes. Hmm. Then help him get a wife. I believe you know some good girls around town. Uh, do you want me to do that for him? It has not got into that, my king. Uh, please give him some time. I, I believe he will do something. Please. Now listen. Tell him to come with one soonest. Else, I'll give him one and he can say no. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from the palace. She never told me you were coming to the palace to see me today. I didn't go to see you. Who then did you go to see? Your mother, the queen, invited me. I hope all is well. My prince, your mother is not in support of you waiting for your elder brother to get married before you ask for my hand in marriage. Yeah, sure. I know about that. So, what are you waiting for? Why are you bent on doing things that will tear us apart? Oh, don't you care about us? Oh, come on. Honey, I care about us. I am ready to make us husband and wife. Then, why have you not done the right thing? Or, am I forcing myself on you? Are you seeing someone else? Mom, why did you do what you did? Why? You are not talking. Mom, why did you invite Sonia over to the palace? I invited Sonia over to the palace so that we have a discussion. After all, Sonia is my future daughter-in-law to be. On whose permission, Mom? Not Samuel, on whose permission? 
Am I too small to handle my love life, mom? Am I too small? And in fact, why are you interfering in my private life, mom? Because that private life has everything to do with me. You are my son. If I sit down and watch you, you bring down everything that we are working hard to achieve. I would let you do that. And who told you that I'll be getting married to Sonia? What did you say? You heard me well, Mom. Did you hear yourself speak? Very well. You will. In fact, you must marry Sonia. Is it that Sonia or no one else in this house? Mom, stay away from my private life. I beg you. That private life has everything to do with me. Stay away. Don't push me. Are you telling me that love is not in your dictionary at all? <laughs> I don't understand your question. What I'm saying is that when you think of a relationship, do you at all times put money in front? Oh, my friends, there is no love without money. Oh. As you can see me, I, Vera, I can't do anything with a man that does not have money. <laughs> no money, no love. <coughs> What are, you, what are you doing here? Do I need to see you here every day? What kind of a question is that? She's my guest. Stella, come on. Oh. Have some manners. I'm sorry, my bad, my prince. How are you doing? I am very well. Thank you. Uh, my prince, yes. uh, I'll have to be on my way, okay? Oh. I'll see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know very I appreciate it at all times. Eh? You're welcome. Good. You be good. Drive safe. Sure, I will. Take okay. care. All right. Take good care. night. All right. You, you are supposed to call me before coming here. Why did you not call? I'm sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to do that. It's fine, let's go in. Um, no, there will be no need for that. As a matter of fact, I am here to take you out on a date. How about that? You're, you have got to be joking. I am not. Seriously, I want to take you out. Bills on me. Bills on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, shall oh, we? Hello, hold on a second. Okay. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? <laughs> I'm not a comedian, I'm serious. Yes, I am here to take you out on a date. Uh, Amanda, read it too. I've already learned how I want to spend the little money I have this week. I, I understand, I understand perfectly, but this is very important to me. But don't get this money and mama as good as dead. Hmm? Dead what? What about uh, Stanley? Stanley traveled to Munechi to see his grandmother. Please, I'm begging you. I need to sell off the food. I need to buy drugs for my mother. Else my mother will die. Please. See, it's not as if I have this money. I just want to buy this thing now because of what you said now. Your mother. Thank you. How much do you want to sell it for? Um, I bought it for 9,000 naira, but I can sell it for 7,000 Seven, seven guineas? 7,000 naira what? 7,000 naira what? I'm asking you, Amanda. 7,000 naira. Because don't say that thing again. Which, 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 which one is 7,000 naira? Not that to 7,000 naira. If you say I should buy this one for 7,000 naira, how much do you think I, I bought this one? Okay, oh. Um. Okay, guys, if you don't have 7,000 naira, I can bring it down to 5,000. Amanda is like, you're not serious, who? To cut the long story short. What I have is 2,500 naira. If you're selling this phone, you take this money and, 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 and give me the phone. Okay, this one is my own and not your own. Which one are you? Are you fighting? Amanda. 2 five is too small. Are you now? selling this one for 2,500 or not? Amanda. Are you selling the phone for 2,500 or not? Wait now, eh? You never reach to fight, easy. Okay, okay, just add one, one thousand. I can see you're not serious. You don't. Okay, want to... okay, okay. Have you removed your your, your SIM card inside? I have removed my SIM. Is the battery the original battery that the phone came? Okay, it's the original. Thing. What about the charger? Okay, I don't know.
one is not this one is not on you know. Frank, what do you want from me? What can I possibly want from you? I can't need anything from someone like you. So what are you doing here? I came here to warn you. Warn your son. Warn that foolish thing you call son to stay away from my son. In fact, he's an idiot. Let him stay away from my son. Franka, my son is not foolish. Neither is he an idiot. Mind your way. What, can, what, what else can you call a man that has wasted 30 something years of his life achieving nothing? Not even a wife. And very soon he's going to be 40. And he will be called a fool at 40. He is not only foolish, he is useless. Tell him to stay away from my son. Get out. Get out before I do something. You can't do nothing. I am not afraid of you. You can do nothing. Anytime I see you or your son as a problem, I will uproot you. I will uproot him and you at the same time. This is not a threat. It's a kind promise. You are a dead toad. You are a dead toad. Animal. You are nothing but a dead toad. down my offer because of that useless Vera. <laughs> I want that girl. I want her. I want her to desist from going to the palace. I told her I never want to see her around my prince but she wouldn't listen to me. She doesn't want to listen to the voice of wisdom. <laughs> Vera, you dare me. You, you want to know what I can do, right? It's okay. I'm going to show you. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello? Yes, uh, this is Omenka Horanya One speaking. Who am I on to? Hello, you don't want to say anything? Um, this is Stella, the daughter of Ono. Uh, Stella, what can I do for you? I, I have a job that will pay you very well. Mm. So what is this so-called job of yours all about? I need you to put your eyes on there. Anything you see her in the past, just call me. And I'll be there at once. Eh? Stella, what, 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 what kind of nonsense insult is this? Huh? How dare you pick up your phone to call me, Omen Kahoranya one, a noble man of this great kingdom, to put an eye on, 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 on a stupid lady called Vera? How dare you? Stella, I am warning you, mind the nonsense that comes out of that your stupid mouth. Let this be the very last time you pick up your phone to call Omen Kahoranya to discuss this useless issue. Nonsense. Imagine. I, I, I. Ha. Nadeba. Is where? Rubbish. Son. I have been waiting to hear something positive since our last meeting, but from the look of things, it seems you are not ready to do what I ask you to do. Father, truth is that I have been trying. I have been trying my best to do the needful, but it has not been easy for me. You have not tried your best. Because if you have tried, definitely you will get a positive response. So stop telling me you have tried. Father, at this point, I'll ask that you calm down. And also ask that you give me your candid suggestion. I need help. Pick any lady known to you. Any lady? None in the picture at the moment, Dad. Then pick from this land. I would have done that if it were that easy. Desmond, listen. Time is of great essence now. You see, i have not really bothered to worry you much about this. Because I thought we had time. But now I realize we don't have time. I'm sorry, Father, but this one is beyond me. Desmond. Yes, Father. If you are not crowned next king in wedding, and this family loses the throne to another family, I will never forgive you. Not even in that. Mother. You needed to have seen the seriousness in his eyes when he said that to me. This is serious. The king is not known for making empty threats. That is why I'm worried, mother. And son, you don't have a choice at this point. You have to make up your mind on picking any maiden as your wife. Unless you don't want to be the next king after your father. Of course you know that I want to become the next king after my father. But the problem though is that I am yet to find a woman to make a queen amongst the ones that are close to me. Neither do I know of anyone near or far that I can pick to make my wife mother. What do we do? Just go and have rest. I will handle it from here. Hi. How can I find rest? 
away. Leave it to me. Hmm. That girl wants to rub shoulders with me. She thinks she can take my man away from me. <laughs> ha. Babe, the question is, how do you want us to handle this girl? I mean, she can't go scot-free. Certainly not. <laughs> Are you joking? You and I know that I'm the last person on earth to let that slide. As a matter of fact, that's why I invited you girls. Mm -hmm. We need to teach her a lesson. Yes, oh yes. Baby girl, how do you want it now? Mm -hmm. Elimination or... No, no, no. That'll be rather too quick. Okay, you just take it easy. Listen, I don't want us to burn out all our cards. See, we are going to teach her a bitter lesson. A lesson she'll never forget in a hurry. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Teach her a lesson. Yes. Okay. I think I understand where you're coming from. Hmm? <laughs> but no worry. You see that babe? She go collect. I trust you. Mm -mm. So, <coughs> when, when exactly, I mean my body devolves now. <laughs> when exactly are we moving into this mission? Ben. Are they hot? <laughs> you go collect. I swear. <laughs> Amanda, you are welcome once again. Thank you, So, mother. how is your mother? <laughs> Honestly, my queen, between me and my mother, I don't know who is healthier. <laughs> <laughs> but she will be discharged in two days. In two days? Thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, I owe you my life. Thank you. <laughs> I am happy to hear that she's okay now. <sighs> As for your life, it's Chukwu Kike that owns that, not me. Hmm? I was worried why you came that late, when it was dangerous. I can know I was scared. No, I, I didn't want to bother this, this beautiful household with my trouble until I, I almost lost my sanity. That was when I, I came to you. Well, thank you that you listened to me. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, what do you intend to do now when your mother will be discharged? Once my mother recovers, I want to go back to my mineral job. By so doing, I'll be able to save up money, start up a business, and take care of my mother properly. I say, um, Amanda, I already like you so much. <laughs> and I would want you to start working here in the palace. Yeah, instead of that many a job you, you're talking about. And as for your mother, I will hire someone to be taking care of her while you are here. <laughs> At least 90,000 Naira per month. Hey! Just mm. calm down. Mm. 90,000 Naira per month. I think it will be enough for you to be saving up money to start the proposed business you are talking about. Mm. So how much you can do? Thank you. Amanda, please get up. Please sit up. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You deserve it because of your father. He was a very good man. A man known for truth when he was alive. At least, if not for anything, especially for his sweet pan wine. And no, no, no. He was a noble man. Thank you. My, my mother will be happy to hear this. And my friend, thank you. I can't, I can't wait to give them the good news. <laughs> Can I leave now, Ma? <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Sorry, Ma. When do I start? Any moment. <laughs> Any time you want to start, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Greetings, my friends. Who are you? My name is Amanda, one of the royal maids. Work here. How come I'm just seeing you for the first time? The Queen Mother just employed me, my prince. I see. What do you want? She asked me to come and tell you that your visitor has arrived. Let them know that I'll be with them. As it pleases my prince. Why are you blocking my you way? You think you've grown wings, right? Remember the last time I told you I am going to clip those wings of yours? Why did you disobey me? What sort of rubbish are you talking about? Will you shut up? One more word from that, your filthy mouth. I'm going to cut them. Mm -hmm. I thought I warned you never to step your filthy legs into the palace, nor anywhere near my princess Mond. Didn't I? Stella, who the hell are you to tell me what to do and what not to do? And who to see and who not to see? I thought you were a human being. What? How dare you? Now, what do you think you are? And what do you think you're talking to? Are you mad? What? Sorry. Speak on. What is the meaning of this rubbish? What is it? This! So how is it that a young, beautiful girl like you doesn't have a boyfriend? <laughs> I did say I don't have a boyfriend. I do. Just that it's not as serious as you think. Uh, you want to shed more light on that? Well, it simply means he has not proposed. Meaning that he can get married to someone else tomorrow. Same applies with me. And by the way, the relationship is still very new. <laughs> How long have you known him? Um, a month and one week. Ah, pretty fresh. Now, a lot of young women your age, I must say, um, are of the opinion that money is the bedrock of every successful relationship or sometimes marriage. Do you beg to think differently? I'm happy you said a lot. Not all. We are different people with different characters and understanding. I believe so much in love. Mm. I believe that whoever I end up with, he doesn't have to be very rich. As long as he loves me and can take care of me, I'm fine. All I want in marriage is love, trust, and truth. That's all. You have got to be from a different <laughs> planet. <laughs> oh boy. So right now I'm going to ask, what kind of a woman are you? Because you're definitely different <laughs> from all others that I have met. And you, what kind of prince are you? You are definitely different from ones I've met. 
Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Even I get that a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Very much all right. Why this sudden hostility? Oh no, I am not just being hostile. Your daughter is the problem. Where is she? Call her out. I want to see her. Let her come and face me one on one. Mazukuru. Yes? What did you just say? You heard me? I should call my daughter to face you. Yes. What did she do to you, if I, if I may ask? Your daughter had a mind, the contumaciousness and infantry to attack my daughter with hulums, beat her up like a common criminal. As we speak now, my daughter is in the hospital. What? Uh, uh, Mazokro. Yes? Uh, are you sure of what you've just told me? Oh no. I am not mad, neither am I drunk. I am very sure of what I have just said. Just pray to God. You and your daughter, the two of you should pray to God fervently. You can go, you can even go into fasting. That nothing should happen to my daughter. Because if anything happens to my daughter, hey, 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 if anything happens to my daughter, be very sure that this kingdom will not continue. Us. Mother, did you, for some reason, Tell her the reason you were inviting her before she came here. No. Why do you ask? Oh, well, um, from the conversation that we had, she came across as someone who any reasonable man would like to have as a wife. <laughs> Wait, son. Does it mean you like her? Oh well, I'll give her a try and then we'll see. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Look son, we don't have all the time in the world on our side. Please. I understand, mother, but you also do not expect your son to marry the first woman he sees. Someone that I do not know too well, mother. Son, why are you speaking from the both sides of your mouth? I, I thought you just said She's the kind of a woman any reasonable man would like to have as a wife. Yes, mother, I said that, but she said... Uh, see, you must marry her. You must marry her. We will start the marriage process immediately. What sort of nonsense is this? When did you become this wild that you now attack an innocent child with the hoodlums? But father, you should have asked me what she did first. You should have asked me that. Whatever she must have done, she not have led attacking her with hoodlums. What if she had died in the process? Well, I knew she wasn't going to die. Besides, I didn't attack her with hoodlums, though. I didn't attack her with hoodlums. It's just me and my girls. And we just taught her a little lesson. Will you shut up that mouth? What stupid attitude is that? Why stand before me to tell me you didn't attack her? Uh, you just wanted to teach her a lesson with your, with your girls? Are you stupid? Is that how I raised you? Just pray that nothing happens to that girl. If anything happens to that girl, you will face the consequences alone. Today is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> As you all can attest to, before now I was so worried and uh, always impaired. What will be the fate of this throne, the throne of my forefathers, after I might have joined my ancestors? But thanks to Chukwoki Kabiyama, that 
Prince Desmond has decided to do that which is expected of him. Uh, let me formally announce to you that the pride of my leon, Prince Desmond, has found his missing rib. <laughs> Who incidentally from this kingdom? Whoa. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. I am happy for you. As a matter of fact, this is the best news I have had in recent time. So, who is the lucky maiden? And when is the marriage taking place? Her name is Oloma Iweze, daughter of Marzi Donatus Iweze, from Iwoha Kindred. I'm really happy about this one. <laughs> As for the date set for the marriage, um, Dad would handle that. Dad, over to you. Oh, well, uh, the elders and I will sit to chat a way forward as regards this matter. Uh, is there any other thing uh, important to discuss here because uh, I want to go out? What sort of rubbish is that, Frank? Are you out of your mind? What did I say wrong? I just said, if there's nothing important to discuss again, I am out. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Mom? Mom? Mm -mm. Mom, are you walking out on us? Mm -mm. Mom? So, babe, tell me, how did it go? It's not too bad. What do you mean it's not so bad? Tell me about it. I need to know the truth. Okay? I just want to know the true situation of things. How's she doing? I mean, how, how she's faring. Alright? Just tell me everything so that I know my next line of action. I don't want anything to take me unawares. Please. Babe, calm down. Like I said before, her condition is not too bad. Um, she um, has this um, broken arm and... Um, her body, my little body injury. It's nothing to worry about. Okay? Okay. Um, did you, did you, did you see her one-on-one? -on -one? No, no, babe. Hey. Uh, no, I, there's no way I can enter the, 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 the world. But according to the nurse, mm -hmm. I, there is this nurse I was um, talking with. She said, um, she was able to explain her health situation to me. Okay. She said, um, it's a gradual process. She's healing. She's just healing. That is, is, we have nothing to worry about, okay? I have my information right inside. Okay, Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, you're going to do me a favor. Please, I need you to put your ears on the ground. Okay, I need you to put your eyes on her. You let me know if anything changes. Definitely. All right? Aware. Please, um, while you're at it, please be careful. Okay? Be careful. Don't you trust me again? I trust you, but I just need you to be very careful. I will. Okay. <laughs> oh, you calm down now, eh? I will. <laughs> All right, um, see you later. Be good, okay? okay bye. <laughs> What was the meaning of that drama you just displayed at the meeting there? And who are you to ask me that stupid question? Uchenna. Do you realize that you worked out on the king and the royal family? If only you realize that I'm doing all this for you. If you understand that I'm doing all these things to make it better for you, then you stop finding fault in everything and do and join force with me to win this battle. We have to win together. Mom, what battle are you talking about? The fight of making you the next king after your father. That is what I am fighting to achieve. Why fight a fruitless fight? A fight you know that may end up consuming you, mom. Why do you want to take that which does not belong to you, mom? Remember, Prince Desmond is the first son of this family. And tradition demands it takes over from her father. Mom, so stop this fight. Well, 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 shut up. And what makes you think that we cannot change it? 
No, I'm asking you, son. What makes you think, Kuchenna, that we cannot change it? I now ask you, why are you always at the center of every single problem in this household? Why? Why? Why does it seem that any time progress will come into this family, you come up with one form of trouble or the other to scuttle it? Why can't we have peace? Why? So you want to have peace in this house of yours, right? Listen, I do not just want peace. But I desire peace at all costs. Then stop inviting me in such meetings, in such useless meetings. You called a meeting that I any the sixth of whom is a kingdom, meeting I summoned, useless. Chinedu Alaribe, that meeting is and will remain useless. So if you want to have peace, stop inviting me in such nonsense. Desist from inviting me there. Ogugo Pomwe Hazomyo. Ah, peacemaker. It is very clear to me that Franca is not happy that my son is about to get married. Yes. Her actions at the family meeting speaks volume of that fact. Is it possible that she doesn't want my son to sit on the throne of his father's? Maybe it's not really about the throne. But that woman must be up to something. And I must find out. Uh, having had sleepless nights over this issue of change of date of sacred Oruku festival, I have come to the realization that there is no need even to change this date. Uh, oh yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, and um, you see, a date that our forefathers kept faith with, uh, there's absolutely no need to change it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, Your Majesty, uh, we are very happy to hear this. Eh? <laughs> At least you have proven to us that um, you are truly a leader, not a ruler. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We are happy to hear this. <laughs> we are happy. <laughs> yes, and to add to that, you know, I am extremely happy that to see those smiles on your faces. <laughs> 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 yes, we are one. Oh, yes. let me say that again. <laughs> uh, let me also inform you that my first son, Prince Desmond, has 
finally seen a median from this kingdom to pick us a wife. <laughs> Why? Stella, why would you unleash such wickedness on your fellow woman? Why? Why would you do something like that to Farah? Why? Speak, I am talking to you. Um, <clears throat> can you just calm down? Don't tell me to calm down. If anyone did that to you, how would you feel? I ask you. How would you feel? All right, fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm really sorry. Okay? But you and I know that she disrespected me. She disrespected you? Yes, and you know it. How? By coming to see me at the palace? And then you had the temerity. To tell her not to come by the palace anymore to see me. Who do you think you are, Stella? Are, are you my wife? I ask you, are you my wife? What do you have going on in your head? Huh? All right, fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Can, can we just go inside and, and talk things over, please? Pray. <sighs> Very hard that nothing happens to her. And until she's fully recovered, make sure you stay far away from me and the palace. Um, pr my prince, my prince, my prince, please don't do this to me. I'm sorry. A certain colleague had to call me. Yes, please. Sit down. I want us to have a heart to heart talk over a drink. Are you for real? I should sit down. Yes. I want us to settle our differences once and for all. <laughs> hey, Chukwu Kike. Okay, then. Hi. I thank you. I thank you. So you have decided to manifest physically after you tried several to keep me spiritually or work on a potential in your Ha! It will not work. Franka, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You're asking me to sit down and have a drink with you. That you want to kill me. You want to poison me physically. Since you tried several spiritually, it didn't work. You now want to get me physically. You can't succeed. You can't get me like this. Okay. Over these drinks. Franka, you know what? Mm -mm. Looking at you on the outside, you look adult. But inside you, you are just a kid. Mm. Why would I want to kill you? Because I am a threat. I'm talking like a kid now. Because I am a threat to you. And now that you have come out physically, <laughs> I will teach you a lesson. In fact, I am going to deal with that to your son and make sure I take away everything that he has that makes you think that this place is your home. By the time I am done with you, you will know who I am. I keep for marriage, this traditional marriage. If that marriage takes place, know that I am not Franca. I will deal with you because you can't kill me like this over drink. Hi! It's not going to work. Just watch me leave. It's not going to work. Stella, you sounded like there's serious danger on ground. What happened? There's a big problem. There's a very big problem. It's. it's is is very dead or but did have people involved the police? What really happened? Listen, as I speak, I am at the verge of losing my prince. How do you mean? I don't understand. Babe, talk to us now. What's going on? It's the prince. The prince found out. Yes, he knows everything. No. He found out what we did to Vera. 
no. He went to the hospital to see her. She practically told him everything. I mean, he knows everything. As I speak to you right now, the prince is mad at me. I'm ruined. Do you know that the prince wants me not to come an inch close to him, nor the palace anymore? I don't know. What am I going to do? I mean, how am I going to do that? I mean, how am I going to stay without coming, c coming close to the prince? Are you, are, you, are you serious about this? Are you seriously asking me this question? Oh, you think I came all the way here to joke about something as important as my prince? I mean, it's the prince we're talking about. Babe, wait. Does he mean the, the, the prince prefer Vera to you? What is even wrong with that prince? <laughs> girls, 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 you know, we, we all planned this thing together. We, we planned these things, you know. We, we sat here and, and planned it. So now I need solution. Which way forward? What am I going to do? I mean, I cannot lose the prince. I, I love him. I love him so much. I cannot lose him. I cannot. Please, let's find a solution. What are we going to do? Talk to me. Hello? What? Okay. Talk to okay, me, please. Okay, fine, fine. We need to do you, something. You know okay. what? What? I have an idea. Okay. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Yeah. What was it like? What is going on? Huh? Who opened the main entrance of the palace for you to enter and find your way to this second gate? Huh? Why are you disturbing the royal family with your presence? Omenka, please, I'm here to see the prince. Who? Hmm? Yes. Listen, you cannot see the prince. Why? Why can't I see him? Or isn't he inside? Prince Desmond is right inside the palace. But you cannot see him. No, you can't. Okay, why? I mean, why so? Why can't... Because there's a standing order from him not to allow you or anything that looks like you come close to the main gate of the royal palace, let alone gaining access into this place. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Um, I know. I, I know he said that to you. I believe you. But trust me, he said all that out of vexation hmm? and anger yes he was upset with me yeah. well let me say he is upset with me mm. I, I i did something very bad that pissed him off and that's why i have come to personally and officially apologize to him i am sorry omeka please uh, mm, 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 mm. make no mistake don't, don't, don't try it do not apologize to me because i am not prince desmond don't say sorry to me I don't need it. Please, go home. The prince does not like you. Why are you constantly killing yourself? Why are you killing yourself over a man that does not want you? He does not like you. Look, Omenka, I am trying so hard to be calm here. Okay? Mm. I am talking to you thinking you're a reasonable human being. Oh. Please do not make me think otherwise. In all you do, make sure you do not insult me because I'm not going to take it. I am not reasonable, right? Fine! I understand. No problem. Listen, the truth they say is bitter. But Omenka Honanya one will always say it. Let me tell you. Allow the prince to concentrate and plan his marriage with the beautiful maiden that he has decided to marry. Please! Sorry, what, what did you just say? <laughs> you you said are surprised. Maiden? You are surprised. You see the thing? I knew it. You are surprised. I told you the prince does not love you. Allow him to concentrate and marry the beautiful and well-mannered young maiden from this kingdom that he has decided to marry. Did you say the prince is getting married? Are listen, you... listen. Go home and allow the prince to concentrate. Like, concentrate and look into the big picture to plan his wedding very well. Please, do not disturb this royal family again with your presence. Are you serious about this? He's getting married to a maiden in this village. Get inside where, your where car and the, go where, home. Where is the maiden from? Who is she? Can you tell me? Like, tell What do you want to do with that information? Just tell me. Bring... Go home. Oh. Go home. Omeka, Omeka, hold on. Omeka, where is the maiden? Tell me, please. Where is she from? Is she from here? Omeka... Ask the ghost.
Your Highness. I really want to thank you for finding me worthy to be your daughter-in-law. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. Oh, Lord, Ma. Ma. You don't have to thank me. I believe it has already been ordained by Chukwu Okike. Now tell me, how are you preparing? Well, everything is going on fine. Just a few things to be put in place and that's all. Okay. Honestly, I can't wait to have you in this palace as my daughter-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Same here, Ma. I can't wait to be your daughter-in-law. I promise to make you proud. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, uh, Ma. Amanda! Amanda! Yes, Your Majesty. Tell my son that his wife-to-be is still waiting. As it pleases Your Majesty. I'm okay, ma. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> My love, the gods have finally decided to smile at us. I am lost. What are you trying to say? Ah, you don't need to be lost, okay? Uh, let me go straight to the point. Prince Desmond, my older brother, has decided to get married. Yes. As a matter of fact, the first stage of the marital rite will be taking place a day after tomorrow. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Very serious. Wow. <sighs> so finally, he has decided to say goodbye to Bachelorhood? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what that means? <clears throat> That will be getting ready for us. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't even know what to say, but <laughs> are you serious about this? Oh, come on. I am very, very sure. And guess what? Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to make you my wife. And I can't wait to be your wife. At least my parents will know that I didn't waste my time waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. Come here. <laughs> uh. Father, I'm fine. Um, please, if you don't mind, I, I would like to ask you a question. Go ahead. Um, Father, is the prince getting married soon? What prompted this question? I mean, why, why are you asking me that? Father, am I not from this kingdom? Or don't I deserve to know what is happening in my kingdom? I'm just asking because I, I, I want to know. Is he getting married anytime soon? The prince is getting married soonest. And who is the maiden? I mean, where is she from? Is she, is she from this kingdom? You know her, right? Why are you suddenly asking me these questions? Wait, or are you planning to attack this maiden? Father, Father, come on. I'm an attacker. I'm just asking because I'm, I mean... Don't try anything stupid. As you will face the consequences. Chie Donatusi was the son of Ozo Ozondo, a noble man of this great kingdom. I still want to greet you once more. But it is so disheartening that on a very important day like this, with the prince of this kingdom and the royal entourage, you now prevented us from entering your compound 
by barricading us with a royal, uh, uh, local or more, uh, it is a slap on the royal family. So, why are you preventing us from entering your compound? Oh no, and the cheers. I greet you. No, no. Oh no, I am very sure you know the meaning of what you are seeing. Of course. However, I will still go ahead to clear the air. Prince Desmond Alaribe can no longer marry my daughter. No, 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 Iche Donatus. I hope this is not a joke. Iche, I am not joking. I mean what I am saying. I am more than serious. Real embarrassment. Iche, Iche Donatus. You have already caused uh, havoc that made the prince to, to recall inside the car out of anger. Please, could you tell us the, the reason behind the office? Since you are here, and you want to know, I will tell you. The life of my daughter and my family are in a serious danger. Let me go ahead to tell you. Some unknown gunmen kidnapped my daughter, took her to a very far and lonely place. As if that was not enough, they threatened to kill her. They warned her strictly to stay away from Prince Desmond or getting married to him. I, Donatus Iweze, the life of my daughter and my entire family are very important to me. I will not want to risk the life of my daughter or any member of my family. All in the name of getting married to the prince. Because they threatened to wipe off the entire family if she goes ahead in getting married to him and I will not risk it at all. So please, I will advise you get into the car and tell him to stay on his own and leave my daughter alone. Let us be in peace. There are other girls out there. He can go and have one of them. But as for my daughter, Mba, leave me alone and my entire family. Please, goodbye. Hey! hey! Unknown gunmen. Unknown gunmen? Unknown gunmen. Hey! Who is, uh, is in trouble? Unknown gunmen. Unknown gunmen. So, how did it go? <laughs> well, it didn't hold. What didn't hold? Are you... Wait, you're trying to say that the traditional rights didn't hold? They did not do anything. They didn't even enter the girl's compound. The girl's father stopped everything right at the entrance of his compound. He dismissed them right at the entrance of his compound. Wait. Whoa. No, you're, you're joking, right? Mm -mm. This is not true. Are you, are you serious? He didn't let them enter. No. Hey! Um, let me ask you this. Is this an information you got from someone or you were physically present and you saw everything with your eyes? My dear, we saw every single thing that happened from the point where we hid. Everything, oh. Ha. Easy, easy. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I mean, th that, that's, that's such a relief. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, this is going to avail me the time to, you know, to make amends. Girl, be mm -hmm. fast. 
You said I'd be fast. Hey. No time. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Hey! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your Majesty, we all know that Donatus Iwes is a strong one. But the Donatus Iwes that I saw today is twice the size of an ant. You won't believe it. Chai! Hmm. Your Majesty, hmm. whatever that made Donatus behave the way he behaved today must be very strong. I agree with you. Yes. And now my question is, who are those behind this? Who were the people that kidnapped Oloma and treated her not to marry my son? Exactly the same question I've been asking myself since we left the place. Your Majesty, I think we need to involve the police. Let them investigate thoroughly yes. on this. Yes. So to fish out those that are behind this mayhem. I think that would be the best option. Exactly. Very, very important. Exactly. You have done your worst, right? Is there any other thing you can do right now? Tell me. Dorothy, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please don't give me that excuse. Spare me the pretense. You have succeeded in destroying my son's marriage. But I tell you, I just promise you that this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning, not the end of the road. You see, the truth is that I have nothing to do with your so-called son, marriage or whatever it is you call this. I can't stoop so low to do nonsense. Deny it. If I were you, I should concentrate on going out there to look for whoever it is that did whatever it is. To pick your son from the so-called marriage, you could just about. deny it. Deny that you did not send people to kidnap Oloma ah. and even threaten to kill her and her entire family if she goes on to marry my, 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 my son. Dorothy, I have no such time. Go and find out those that kidnap. See what 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 business do I have with that so that, that thing you called you call son? That low class good for nothing you call son. That useless thing. I have nothing to do with that boy. I see. You can pretend for all I care. But Franca, I know you too well. I know you very well. You are the brain behind that ugly act. And let me tell you. You better fix what you spoiled. Or you have me to contend with. I have always known that you have no brain. No, your brain is full. So if you, have, if you have nothing to do with your time, go somewhere and pray. Your brain is so full. I don't have your time. Ah! Dead don't. <clears throat> what kind of embarrassment is this? Which is... Huh? What does whoever pulled that stunt aim to achieve? Prince, sir. You see, people do a whole lot of things for so many reasons. I want you to calm down. Did you say calm down, Uchinna? You were there. Did you not feel the embarrassment? You were there. Sure. It was more than an embarrassment. But please, relax. See, I want... Okay, I, I, let, me, let me give this assurance that whoever did that thing, must be fished out. When? I ask you, when and how? Huh? Bro, I, I may not have an answer to that question. But I want to assure you that whoever did this thing will never, ever go unpunished. How I wish I can set my eyes on this person. Let me just see this person. Relax. I want you to know that I am with you on this. Okay? 
I want Franca arrested immediately. And why would you say so? She has a lot to say about what happened today, and you know that. How could you say such a thing? Oh, Franca is evil. Don't you know? Franca is evil. She hates my son and I with passion. So much passion. And you think it's enough reason for her to get herself involved in such a messy situation? Oh, Dorothy, you can do better than this. Are you taking sides with her now? Not really. I know Franca might not be in good terms with you and your son, but that's not enough reason for her to do go this extra mile. What's her again? Dorothy, tell me, what's her again? I see. Oh, yes, I see. Always hiding her. No problem. Don't just worry. I will handle it myself. No problem. I will handle it myself. So much pain. So much pain. And why is everything falling apart? And I can't take it anymore. So who did I offend? Oi, where did I go wrong? My prince, food is served. I'm not hungry. My prince, sometimes we eat. Not because we are hungry, but because it is somehow necessary. And food is the least of my troubles right now. And yet, wallowing in deep sorrow and sadness, we need to change the situation on ground. Not solve the problem, my prince. What happened today happened for a reason. Yet we do not know. I also think that the Creator allowed what happened today to happen for a reason. For what the Creator does not know can never happen. Please, my Prince, I beg you. Think less about what happened today and allow Chuko Kikabiyama to solve the problem. For what will be, must surely be. Please. And it's very confusing to me how a beautiful lady like you would possess such a dark heart, a heart darker than that of the devil. What is wrong with you? Look, I am trying really, really, really hard to believe you, but the more I try, the more I see reason. Hey, my prince. Look, I regret everything I did to Vera. I totally regret it. I am not proud of it. I mean, for any reason in the world, I shouldn't have done that. I regret it. I know that's the reason you find it very difficult to believe that I am innocent on this one. I shouldn't have done that to Vera. Okay, I totally agree. But please, I'm not the bad one here. Besides, what I did to Vera is understandable. I, I did it out of love. Yes, I did it out of the love that I have for you. You know it. You know that I love you. And I was fighting. I was fighting for love. That's why I did that. I, look, I am not saying, I'm not trying to say this as an excuse. It is not an excuse whatsoever, okay? But I just need you to at least give me the benefit of the doubt on this one that I am innocent. Okay, fine. Look, I am ready. I'm ready to swear it. I'm ready to swear before Google, before any God that I am innocent. Take me anywhere. Let me swear my innocence. At least if that is what it would take for you to believe me, I don't mind. I don't mind doing anything to prove my innocence to you. Please. It is very important to me that you believe that I am innocent on this. I don't know how else to explain it, but 
innocent. I'm sorry. Believe me. I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't do it. My hands are clean. Yeah. I really feel for Princess Mont right now. Because he is going through a lot. I, I don't understand. Going through a lot simply because ordinary Oloma refused to marry him. I don't get it. Wait, what do you even know? Or are you only good at eating food? Please, do not insult me. Mba, she did not insult you. She only asked you a simple question that demands simple answer. How will you open your mouth to utter such words? Listen, Obi. If you really understand the facts that the girl in question Hear me again. The girl in question did not refuse to marry the prince. Rather, she was forced to call off the marriage by people she did not know. Then you will begin to appreciate what Amanda here just said. Mm -hmm. In Ania. Uh -huh. um, um, listen. The mere fact that the old lover of a girl agreed to cancel the marriage simply because ordinary kidnapper threatened her is enough fact to show us that she never wanted to marry the prince from oh, the if you were in her shoes, what would you have done, I ask you? I, what would you have done? I don't understand. How can I be in the shoes of ordinary Oloma? Oh, baby, just, just, just shut up. Uh -uh. Just shut up, okay? What is even the color of your stupidity? No, black. Can you hear stupidity again? Black. black. Yeah, is yeah. No, 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 she only asked you a very vital question that demands a direct and simple answer. Obi, what is the color of your stupidity? Because it is only a very stupid man that will always be seen in the gathering of maidens who are gossiping. What is wrong with you, Obi? Uh, 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 Omenka, you, you know I respect you a lot, but do not insult me. Listen to me, Obi. You are a very foolish man. You are a very stupid person. Imagine. What, 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 is, what is wrong with you? Nonsense. Uh, 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 Uncle and Co. Sir, sir. For once, I will commend you ladies for a job well done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> While at it, I will implore you ladies to retire to the kitchen where you belong and prepare something good for me to eat because Omenka is very hungry. You said? He said he is very hungry. Go and prepare food. Frankly, you are a she devil. That's what you are. You call me a devil. Yes, that's You have true. not seen anything yet. I will so deal with you and that your miserable son. You still can't do yeah. anything. I've been hearing it from you. I will not do anything. It's sick and ready for you. Okay, it's out of calling the police to solve everything. Okay. You have, you have, you hey, have. Hey, that hey. Will you stop that? Stop that. What's all this madness? Huh? Why are you people disagreeing me? Two of you. Why are you always disagreeing me? Don't you know that as a king I have the authority to marry as many wives as, as I deem it fit? Hey, and definitely I'm not going to be the last king to do that. Why are you always disturbing my peace? Why can't I have peace in this palace? Why? Enough of this. Let me have peace in this palace. Why, mother, why? Why? Why would you do something like this, mom? Why? How can you engage in a fight with someone like that? A woman who has no atom of shame whatsoever, mother. You disappoint me. I did just get into a fight with her. She pushed me into it. Oh, you, you should have avoided her. I tried. I tried so much to avoid the fight. But she kept coming at me. I had no option that to... to fight. Mother, that's what you did. Well, you had an option. A moment of wisdom you could have held back, mother. 
have appealed to you countless times. When that woman comes at you, apply her wisdom, mommy, and hold back. Now see what you have done. It's not nice. It doesn't look good on you, mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it wasn't my fault. She pushed me into it. She pushed me. No matter how provoked you get. Or right, please. Learn to avoid that woman. No matter the provocation. Please. Just walk away. Hmm? going to be like this. Why cry over a speed make? Father, why me? Why me? Onye ka mejo. Na mo onye ka meji mama na ima cho. Onye ka mejo. My daughter I understand how you feel. What happened to you happened to all of us. It hurts my feelings so much that I can't do anything to help the situation. I have searched my heart. I have searched my heart inside out. And I cannot think of anyone. Not even a single soul that can do this to me in that. My ex said he doesn't want to get married. Why is not your reign? Go in, Major. Now go in, Major. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. How I wish I have an answer to your question. This is my daughter. I beg of you. You need to stop putting yourself through emotional torture. Hmm? This is my daughter. Lam, you don't understand. You don't understand, father. My daughter, I understand everything. I understand every bit of what you are saying. But crying cannot solve the problem. And it can't help the situation either. You are right. I need to leave this village. Father, I need fresh air. I just want to leave this village. I just want to leave this place. Yes, my daughter. You are now beginning to think positively. You are not behaving like the daughter of her father. Mm. I am very glad to hear you say this. I think leaving this kingdom is the best option. It will help a lot. But I want to suggest something. I want to suggest that you go and stay with your elder brother in Abuja. Staying with him there will help a lot until the police are done with their investigation. I'm very sure 
going to Abuja will help a lot. And it will help you too. Father, it is very important that I make this trip. Please. Why do I have this feeling that you are trying to abscond from doing that which is expected of you? Oh, Father, you know me. You know that I am ready to do that which tradition expects of me. But this trip is an all-important trip. It will be the first time a black man will be honored in this regard. Daddy, please, I'd like to be on ground to accept it. I plead with you, Father. Let me go. Your Majesty, I think we should allow him go. In fact, we should be happy that our son is the first black man to achieve such a wonderful feat. Please. Son, I'm happy for you. Extremely happy for you. But we are talking about tradition. And we don't have enough time. Speaking of time, Father, I want to assure you that I will not be gone for long. It's a short stay. And then I'll be back. And do all that you want me to do. Father, this trip would also be very good for me as it would afford me the time that I need to clear my head, giving all that has been happening around me since I returned. I agree with you, but I want you to have it at the back of your mind that cars and consequences will follow anyone who loses his pet right and it will go on from generation to generation. Now that things turned out this way, what next? My prince, I am talking to you. What next? I am totally confused. I sincerely don't know what next to do. Uh, what? Are you joking right now? Sonia. How can I joke with a matter as sensitive as this? How? The situation is so complicated that I don't even know what next to say. I wish what happened didn't happen. Prince Huchena Alaribe, it is time for you to go home. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. Go home before I do something I might regret. Come on, Sonia. Has he got into this? It is clear. It is clear that you don't want any good for me. You don't mean well for me. You're just hiding under your brother's stupidity. You're just deceiving me. Very soon you will come. Sonia, you've grown old. I can no longer make you my wife. That's it, right? Come on, Sonia. That's it. Stop, Sonia. I cannot. This is you. I promised you before. Get out! Just go! Get out! Go! Go! Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm really sorry I acted the way I did. I had no choice. I have given him everything. I even turned down the last shuttle that came to ask for my hand in marriage. All because of him. And yet he's not giving me any meaningful answer. Your Majesty, I am no longer a baby. I'm getting older by the day. I know. And I'm in support of whatever decision that you decide to take. You do? Uh, yes. I will make sure that everything works out fine. Um, but Your Majesty, do you think he loves me and would want to spend the rest of his life with me? I know that you are in love with my son. And my son is so much in love with you. So I will make sure that he marries you. No one else. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Uchenda, your brother doesn't like you at all the way you claim he does. How can you say that, Mom? If your brother had any atom of respect or value to you, he would have involved you in every decision he takes. Okay, okay, let me take it this way. He traveled to his base abroad. Did he tell you anything about that journey? Since you think... That he likes you, did he? Does it really matter if he didn't tell me? No, it does matter. What he did simply shows that he doesn't care about you. In fact, he sees you as a threat. He sees me as a threat. How do you mean? As someone that stands the chance of taking the throne from your father. I do? Uchenna, yes, you do. Um, Your Majesty, after the day we were embarrassed, during the day we went to commence the marital process of Prince Desmond and Oloma Iweze, nothing has been said uh, from the royal household. Does it mean that Prince Desmond is no longer interested to do that which will make him emerge as the next king in waiting? Oh no, my son is not ready to surrender his birthright to anyone. He will do what is expected of him. He will. The question is when. The Oruruku festival is fast approaching and we do not have much time on our sides. Besides, we cannot afford to change the date. The same time, we cannot afford to lose the bigger picture, which is crowning the next king in waiting on that very day. So what are you trying to say? Your Majesty, what I am trying to say is that the prince should get himself a wife before the festival, or he lose his birthright. Congratulations, my son. I am extremely happy for you. But that is not the main purpose of this conversation. Really? What, is, what is the problem? Definitely everything is not alright. What happened? 
Desmond, you need to do the needful. Else, your younger brother might end up becoming the new king in waiting. Has it got into that? Oh, yes, it has. Ono and the elders left this palace not long ago. And they threatened that nothing will stop the installation of the new king in waiting on the day of Oruluku festival. Hello. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the polar note. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's okay. Um, hello. Yes. Is it true that I stand a chance of becoming the next king in waiting? Who gave you that information? <laughs> oh no. I know I'm a noble son of this kingdom and a prince. Am I not supposed to know the important things that concerns the royal family and the kingdom at large? <laughs> well, you can become the next king in the waiting mm. if your older brother, Prince Desmond, does not get married before the next Oruku festival. But the thing here is that you are yet to get married too. Uh, Father, I have decided to get married. Did I hear you well? You had me very well, father. Oh, but you've never wanted to get married before your older brother. So what brought about the sudden change of mind? Father, I now know that I stand a chance of becoming the next king in waiting. Thanks for the drink. Welcome. And the color nut. Welcome. Mm. Hey! In the bar is another worker. A poison. Mm. It's you. I am here with this drink. Um, it's here. I want to officially let you know that I, that I love your daughter and I want to marry her. <laughs> Prince Uchenna. It's here. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm so happy to see this very day. Mm. That you walk into my house with this drink to declare your intentions towards my daughter, Sonia. <laughs> ah, it's a great day indeed. Thank you. You see, uh, everyone in this kingdom knows that both of you have been dating. And uh, the question on every lip has been, when will these two officially seal their relationship? If you understand what I'm saying. Of course, I do. Uh, so, I'm very, very happy that uh, you have uh, finally taken the bold step to do the needful. Uh, you're welcome once again. Thank I um, want to assure you that uh, my arms are open, wide open, to receive the royal entourage any day you decide to commence the marital rights officially. Oh, thank you, Ichie. Thank you, Ichie. So, on that note, Sai, let me ask you when you we want us to come. Because as far as I'm concerned, I am ready to start the marital right by tomorrow. My prince, <laughs> you have to take it easy. Uh, 
Take it easy. And the best idea, boy, I let you feed the uncle. Macanapo to my ime, to an hour. Eh? My name is Doobie. I'm on my rim. Yes, uh, I would uh, advise that um, you talk to your father. Okay. Yes, talk to him about this matter and um, let him take it up from there. He will. All right, I. I will do just that. Work. Well, please welcome, son. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Son, Bobby. you're highly welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Daddy. <laughs> son, you've made the royal family proud. You've made Umweze proud. Thank you, Daddy. You've made the whole country proud and the entire continent of Africa. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so proud of you. And at a time like this, Father, I want to tell you that I am proud to be called your son. <laughs> and I am happy to be back home. Oh. See my people, see how well I'm received. Oh, yeah. It gladdens my heart to be Daddy. here at a time like this. Uh, Thank son, you. I am so excited to have you back. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for making us welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let's go in. Right after you. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? 